All right. I'll go ahead and pin myself. Say hello, everybody. The crowd. Hello. Yeah, let's work out with Erica next. No Rocky. No Rocky today. Um, because Rocky is celebrating his anniversary with his beautiful wife Sarah. So cute. Um, I sounded like almost sarcastic because I'm so I'm very tired today. Um, but I meant that with all sincerity, obviously. Sarah is amazing. And um, I guess I didn't sound sarcastic, but I feel like I'm usually like so pumped that if I'm not, if I don't sound crazy, people wonder what's wrong with me. Um, what is the, I always forget the music. Here we go. Epidemic sound. I just always mm -hmm. forget the name of it. Epidemic. Doesn't sound like a good name, right? But it's good music. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm sure, but like an epidemic, that's like. Well, yeah, it doesn't sound so good. Right? okay that I turn it's like pop music is weird to me if I don't know the song you know yeah 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 it's better to count slightly instrumental often better yeah it's silly because eventually you're gonna know the song if you listen yeah to yeah and you're like listening yeah well your sound is really low Erica I can't hear you very well How about now? Yeah. yeah? Yep. Okay, okay, sorry about that. I forgot to pick the right mic. <laughs> okay, once again. We're just getting warmed up today. We're not gonna go too hard because we got, we got a booster shot in the house today. Both arms and shoulders back. Let's make that bigger. You're gonna add like a swing to it. Yes. That kind of that reminds me of like old Madonna, that swell and this like talking quietly. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, so we're gonna reach it, pulse it, and reach the other side. Again. Other side. Then just stretch up. Pulsing or holding. Again. Really get that side body. We're gonna whip those arms around. Hitting our back body a little bit. Now let's add some step side to side. Okay, arms circles up. Other way. Other way. Foot. That's right. Starting to burn. And switch again. 
Nice. Bring it down. Shoulders back. One at a time. This is that one. Baby. Are you ready for it? Baby. Or maybe. All right. We're going to use owl weights um, because my weights are outside. So I'm sticking my ass out and engaging my core. And then uh, straight arms. Pulse it up. And your triceps are kind of like the secondary muscle group working because they're straight and extended to your arms. But really, your upper back, those shoulder blades, like you're in between your little wings, those little bird wings, like your rhomboids. Keep it going. You got it. All right, step side to side. Relax it out. How'd that feel, Chris? That's good. It's like just a little bit of a burn. Perfect. It was a little hard. It was hard, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, shoulder back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, beautiful. We're gonna go into like just a little bit of a side lunge. So make sure it's wide enough that when you're dipping down, your your knees not going over your toe. Five, six, seven. Drop down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Ooh. Go ahead. One, two, <laughs> three. Oh my god. Whoa. Four. I'm so disoriented. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. If you have two more to do because you're falling, go for it with me. Nice. Kicking it back. Nice. All right. We're going to do my favorite one. Those hamstrings. Because... Most people's hamstrings are a little weak and also a little tight. So this would be a good time to grab those eight pounders or five pounders, whatever. Um, trying to think if I can grab something that's just like. It's heavy. Yeah, or just like, I mean, I have weights in here, but like something that someone else might have around their house that isn't considered a weight. Uh, I don't know. It's like, that could be anything. What I'm trying to demonstrate is that this really doesn't need a lot of weight to be hard. Even if it feels easy in the beginning, um, it'll feel harder later. So I'm just going to grab... A big book. How about that? Cool. Um, so I'm going to keep it at my arms and then kind of see which one. I'm going to bend. I'm going to bend the back foot so you can see. So basically you stick your ass up and then you straighten it. But I want you to pay attention to the straighter leg. So down. Squeeze that booty. Two. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. You're letting that but lead it. It's hard not to let your chest lead. So you're just bending at the hinge. Do you remember these, Chris? Yeah, I like these. Me too. Five. They're sneaky. Four. Yes. Three. Two. And 
and one. Nice. So you can switch feet. I'm going to show both sides. Great. So you're just going until, go ahead, one. You feel a little stretch in that straight leg, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. I think I saw me to the other side. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you, honestly. I the other side, so I remember. You what? I counted down for the other side, so I probably was ten. Okay, great. I was also, like, talking, which is never helpful for counting. But anyway, if you're at home and you know better, do whatever number I meant to do. Okay. Beautiful. Walk it side to side. We're definitely going to have to stretch out those hamstrings after this because they get so tight. Okay. Pump it down. Nice. And up. And twist. Just keep going. Act like the beat's still there. There we go. We want you to add some legs to it. Pulse it down, pulse. To this guy. Cut. Twist it. Okay, I'll keep it here. Keep going, you got it. You got it. You got it. Step side to side. Ooh. One more eight count. All right, so flat back. Now we're going to fly like a bird, but similar to what we did the first time. And fly. You need this to be easier? Make the arms shorter. It's hard not to carry all that stress in your neck. So just try to think about melting it away, really bringing the work in between your shoulder blades, pinching them together. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Roll those shoulders I back. This time. One at a time. Yeah, show them I can still wrap though. Take the time. We go some neck circles. Uh, the other way. Oh yeah. Check it out. That side to side. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Do you think I act different when the cameras are on, Chris? No. Yeah, unfortunately, I should probably act better. All right. We're going to lunge it. Just bring it down for 10. Make sure your stance is wide enough. Center it down. Go. One. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm not sure you're just standing. I feel like turning around. Is, well, maybe not, though. Let's see how my balance is now. Nice and wide. Bring it down for five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Kick it back. Here we go. Go. If I take the job, but I get it done. I said it before, I'm a one on one. I just cut some ones, only wearing ones. Fun to kick the funds, money made me cry. You got it. Diamonds on your neck, that they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock it tech. You want the chain, you better cop it. All right, we're gonna do those hamstrings. Grab a book. Really, I've had this work without anything. You might have to do more of them. Um, the foot behind you. Now, if you're really advanced, you might have your foot up off the floor. Um, it's a lot of balance. So if you haven't done it before, I would start this way. Toes down, the back leg bent, and I'm stretching out that front leg until I feel it and squeeze up. Oh, shit, hold on. I forgot it was on that short playlist. Oh. And I know. <laughs> stopped. There's so many things to do to get ready. Oh, and this one only has three songs, so I'll see you again up here. I'll have another break break. <laughs> All right. I think our favorite playlist is still to come, though, so that's good. All right, so one, squeeze, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Really squeeze that butt up. Eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, go. One, squeeze, two, squeeze, three, squeeze, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Side to side. Let's step it out. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna punch it up. Keeping that right angle perpendicular. Those biceps are perpendicular to your forearms. I'm trying to say they're parallel to the ground. Does that make sense? You get it. Keep it up, keep it up. You can act like you're like high-fiving someone much taller than you, one arm at a time. Maybe I'll high five you, come on. Hey, hey friend, hey Chris, hey friend. Oh yeah, keep it up, keep it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now side to side, and front. Bow and arrow. Keep it up. And down. Shake it out, shake it out. Step it out. Okay, so now you've done both the straight arm back and the fly. You can choose whichever one you want, but think about making your body a little bit more parallel to the ground. That's gonna bring it a little bit further down your back and add a little bit more gravity. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push it back. Squeezing those triceps. 
letting them work as hard. Almost there. Ten more. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Big circle. Nice. I love this song. It sounds so 80s and cute. Step side to side. It sounds so 80s. I'm like, I must know this song. Right? It just sounds like I should know it. It really does. I know. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe. But yeah, it sounds like a. This is this is the kind of pop music I like. Something that I feel like I already know. Maybe that's maybe that's the bad thing. <laughs> uh, it's comforting. All right, we're going back to those lunges. This should be the last one, I believe. It's our third one, right, Chris? Yeah, it is. My number. All right. Five, six. Drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Nice. Step side to side. Take it back. Ooh, it's got a little bit slower. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. All right. Grab that book. Grab that weight. Beautiful. And straight leg, bent leg, feel that stretch, and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Other side. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Did I just do this side? Yeah. Five, six. Go ahead. Bend and straighten. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Noise. All right. Okay, so choose of those the triceps and the flies. Do the one you didn't choose. So I'm gonna do a fly. Get down low. One. Really squeeze. thing we're gonna work work today is balance combined with some combined combined with some glutes I'm on my thick mat which I love for cardio but it does make balancing more difficult which is a great thing for you to try too. if balancing is easy for you 
get a cushy mat. Make it harder. If it's not, maybe get on the hard floor. Okay, so we're just doing a ballet kick. The other way we've done this before, and for those of you who would rather, you can ballet kick on the floor on both your knees. Or if you'd rather work on your balance, you can just balance standing on one leg um, in any direction that feels difficult enough and where you want to be. Okay, so I like to kind of hold my arms up because it helps me balance this way. I'm just used to it. Um, but you can do it however feels good to you. Six, seven, eight. It's hard not to let it touch. And we'll switch to the other side. And go. And done. Nice job. Cool. So that puts us just about about 30 minutes of work. Now we're going to stretch it out. Sound good, Chris? Yeah. Perfect. All right. So I really want to make sure we get those hamstrings. We're going to take some extra time with them. So we're going to straighten that leg with our arms supporting our quads, just keeping it close enough to our body that it's a little difficult. If this is too difficult, you can also use a strap so that it can be here or anywhere you want. But the important part to me is the relaxing of it and then the stretch again. So anytime you hold a stretch, that can be nice because the longer you do it, the more it melts into it. But for repairing flexibility. This is how they do it in the physical therapy world. I trust it. And I know from experience that it's worked for me. And really, each one is about 10 seconds. I often just kind of guess. Take your time, just releasing and stretching it. We have at least like three more here, so we're not in a hurry. I get it. I know it's like hard to stretch, but honestly, unless you're, I don't know, under 30, which you may be, um, oh, it's really going to catch up to you if you're not stretching, especially if you've decided to start exercising, you know, on the regular, um, like three times a week. So switch legs if you haven't. That's a lot for your muscles to work without getting stretched. Um, and I've known bodybuilders that really don't stretch because of some, um, some kind of something aesthetic or something, I guess. Uh, but, um, I don't know how old they are either. I don't know. I personally know what it's like. Just keep on going, counting them um, to 10 to overuse my calves and have some plantar fasciitis and things that were really hard to get rid of. And the only way I could get rid of them was by stretching and strengthening those muscles intentionally. So, um, nice when you don't have to 
um, do that after injury. It's nice to prevent the inner the um, injury, but most of us don't learn that way, right? Keep going. Chris, do I remember correctly that you're from Canada originally? Did <laughs> no, I make I that live, up? No, I used to live very close to Canada, though. I mean, I, so now you live close to Canada. Now I live very close to Canada, yes. That's funny that I made that up about you. <laughs> Sounds very exotic, doesn't it, Canadians? <laughs> well, <laughs> Grayson, Grayson's from Canada. I wonder if I was just thinking about... Y'all both yeah. have like dark hair. I don't know though. I don't know <laughs> why. Maybe just knowing that you're in a yeah, that you're nearby. Canada adjacent. Yes, I am yeah. two miles from Canada. Have y'all gone to Canada? Well, no, not because of the COVID restrictions. So when do those change? You know, we're gonna do the figure four with the ankle. Oh to yeah. Me. Um. Yeah, we can. Um, I guess actually, can go. We can, you can go there now. They're they're gonna even they're gonna loosen the testing restrictions soon. But no. Like, what's the closest place when you cross the border from where you are? Um, the town of Fort Erie, Ontario. All right. And, Ontario uh, is pretty big, right? Yeah, because Toronto is like an hour and a half. Okay. It's the biggest city in Canada. So soon, maybe we'll go up there next summer. Oh my God, you have to go to a Chinese bakery. <laughs> They're they so good, good Greek, there. Uh, they have a good Greek town too in Toronto. Really? Yeah. Is that more style than Chinese bakeries? No, I like both. I'd be totally yeah. down with Chinese bakery, especially like a Hong Kong bakery. That'd be great. Oh man. And switch legs. Yeah, when... So there was this place that closed, you know, through COVID so mm -hmm. sad in LA oh. that um, it was right on like, you know, I don't know, the it was in the Silver Lake, like the main strip, Sunset oh. Boulevard, I think. Um, and it was really cute. It was like just tiny kind of, but packed. And we had a little outdoor table that was like made of some like, I don't know, it just felt like some furniture that someone threw out basically but it felt like very cool um but i mean the main point was that i never had greek food like that before you know like my experience of american greek food is very like which i like but it's like very um you know cucumber salad feta cheese like yes it's very like the difference between you know mexican food and mexican like you know american food like Tex-Mex or in, in Mexican, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was wild. Like the hummus, I mean, mm -hmm. I we think it maybe had butter in it. It was like so oh. rich and different. It was wild. And that we got like, I feel like it was just like a whole chicken or something. Mm -hmm. It just tasted really fresh and it wasn't what I would ever, the only thing about it that reminded me of Greek food was the hummus and the hummus was so different. Oh. Oh man, it was so good. Oh. Hopefully they, I don't know, do something once COVID's over, I guess. I mean, like I only get, to, maybe it's just something I got to experience once in my life and that's it. You right. know? Just always remember that delicious Greek chicken and hummus you had. Oh man, so special. It was so good. Good. Oh, so I'm just going to ask you from here just to do whatever feels good to your body. I'm doing like a little figure eight on my glutes, on my lower back. Um, nice. Wow. 
Of course, we used other muscle groups that should be stretched. Um, just feeling so lazy. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We got this. We got this. We're almost done. All right. All right, so we're just gonna do the thread the needle, okay? So I'm gonna come up and then thread the needle. I'm gonna kind of stack my shoulders here and I'm just pushing up against the floor. I do feel like this is one that like you either get or you don't get. It's really hard to describe it. Um, without being there sometimes. Ugh, but I felt it. How about you? That's a good stretch. Good. I'm glad you're getting it. All right. And whenever you're ready, and that feels released, you move the other side. And we'll do our triceps overhead. You can do this sitting on your knees or standing. And switch. And then lastly, um, I would like to do an opener stretch because we did work our back and it felt good to open up those packs. Um, you can take a block or if you have like a fascia roller or just like a pillow or roll up a blanket. Basically, you just want to cram something between your shoulder blades so you can kind of lay across. Um, I feel like the blocks can be pretty uncomfortable for some people. I don't mind it myself. I have felt the pain, but again, I like pain a little bit. So um, that's the difference. Um, but I do feel like rolling up a towel sometimes just like is not satisfying enough for me. Those um, fascia rollers and the half ones are like pretty perfect for this exercise, but unless you do this kind of thing all the time. You may not have that accessible to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so wild how tight our chest, you know, our pecs like. Yeah, I can get. I'm sitting forward and.
Good job. Well, I'm so proud of you for showing up on a day that you had your booster shot and weren't I'm feeling a hundred percent. Very pleased about that. Thanks, Erica. Yeah, you did great. Mm. Totally worth it. Yeah. And it helps me too. I really was like, I'm tired, um, but I have so much homework to do. So I hopefully no. this Maybe will awaken. A little bit of, yeah, a little bit yeah. of stretching, a little energy, get a little yeah. fired up. Let's crush a couple more hours, you know? Oh yeah, you totally have time to do that for sure. Yeah. See, maybe the recording will work. That was bad, huh? It's great. It was good. I thought that yeah. was good. I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTubes now, though. Goodbye.